Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Before we get into the video today with Katherine Edwards, there are a couple of things to cover. First, I want to say a very, very special thank you. The last video I put up yesterday, where uh, the video entitled "I Am the Witness," a lot of a lot of you guys commented in the comment section about the skincare line, about my skin from Asia, and I was speaking to Hillis yesterday, and he reminded me that there are on under my account with Asia, there are already sh like shopping carts for people. So if you want to quickly just get a product, I'm going to put these links down in the description box below. For example, I pulled up the beauty list. So this is basically the beauty list, which includes the Renew Advanced Intense Redox One Tube of Renew 28, the Renew Advanced Skin Skincare System, and the Redox Clay Mask. So if that if you just quickly want to make a purchase because you want to try the specific skincare line or specifically just try the liquid and you don't want to actually text J first you just want to order something quickly to try it these lists are created for you now again everything on this list once you pull up the link you can actually remove things from the list if you don't want them so this is just merely a suggestion so if all you want is just the clay mask you can go in and edit out all the other products all right we also so we have the preferred customer beauty bundle we have the associate beauty bundle here as well now there are differences between the two I believe is that with with the preferred customer, you're just making a one-time purchase where with the associate up, uh, purchase, it's going to be coming to you every month, okay? We also have things like the Magic 8. This is simply a, a way to get started with the, um, the Redox supplement that you drink okay and again you can edit any of this we have it for the associate we also have it for the preferred customer we have the traveler pack right here and again, Hillis created all this stuff to help you guys out because um, as they have said, as Hillis has said, as I have said, this company is growing so quickly that sometimes the website is, is not keeping up with the growth of the product, right? And I'm not technologically savvy myself, as I have said many, many, many times. And so they're trying to keep up on the website side of things with the demand of the product. Hence why I always suggest you do text Jay if you want to sign up for the product. Product, but Hillis did make this easier for you guys. So if you want to just make a quick purchase, you don't have to actually go through Jay or Hillis. You can actually just go and click on the link and check out from there and then go back later. If you really like the product and you want to get more invested in the company, then you can go back and talk to Jay or Hillis about your, about a, furthering your um, involvement with ASEA. Now, with that being said, if you are interested right away and you're like, I, I've already tried this product, I really like this product, and I want to know how I can get this product at wholesale prices, then yes, absolutely go ahead and text Jay at the number 321-216-8047. That's 321-216-8047. Just text Bryce Info, B-R-I-C-E Info, to 321-216-8047. That that number goes directly to Jay and either Jay will get back to you or Hillis will get back to you to talk you through everything to talk to you more about the product in more detail and to the company in more detail and how you can get the product at wholesale prices all that stuff now I've gotten a lot of people I know that I have a lot of people in Australia and Canada all over the world watching this and I do believe that these products are available in the countries that people have mentioned but if you want more information again and text J. Now, if you're not in the United States, you're going to have to add in plus one, which is our country cut code. So you can text J at plus one. 321-216-8047 with Bryce info. But in that text, tell Jay that you are texting from New Zealand or Australia or Canada so he knows that it's a foreign number. With that being said, when you tell him that you're in New Zealand and Australia, ask him if there's any way he can call you on WhatsApp. From my understanding how it works with me, because I work with a lot of people in other countries, obviously with Catherine Edwards, who's about to come on, when we text each other on our iPhones, it doesn't charge. It's when we call each other. And so when I call Catherine, usually I talk to her over FaceTime or Tamara in Australia. When we text, it's no problem. But when we talk on the phone, we usually talk over FaceTime or WhatsApp, and then there's no charges. So just let Jay know that that's where you are calling from. And so you guys can work out speaking over an app 
or application that allows there to be a foreign conversation. But basically, the way it works for Captain, for myself, for any of the people that are sponsored by ASEA, I don't, the only products that I have here in my house are the products that I use. And so when you go through me, when you text Bryce Info or you text Catherine Info, you're basically using us as a way into getting the products yourself. And so wherever you are in the world, the products, there is a distribution center there. So the ASEA products will be mailed to you from the distri distribution center in your home country. You're just using my name as the entryway into getting these products, if, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So it's not me who's actually sending you the products or Jay who's sending you the products or Hillis who's sending you the products or Catherine. It's ASEA themselves coming from the distribution center in your home country. All right. So and, and it is they do it this way. And I, I agree with it the way they've done it, because, you know, the story of, of ASEA. Um, and I, again, there's a, there is an ASEA YouTube channel I will place in the description box below. But the founder of this company was offered a buyout from the big uh I'll say the big medical facilities that kind of in the world, you know what I'm saying. Um, and he said, no, he turned them down because he wanted people to actually have access to this, um, the, this redox supplement. And if you think about it, if you just saw a bottle of ASEA sitting in a, a health food store, you probably would have no idea what it is or what it does. And the clerk at the store might not even know. And so they, they created the company through word of mouth marketing so that people would really have an, uh, an, an understanding of what this product is before they, they took it. Yeah, how to use it, um, what, it's, what to expect, um, different people's experiences with it, all that kind of stuff. And so that's why they rely on people with platforms like myself, like Catherine, to kind of get the word out about this product so that people watching our channels can become more educated on what a redox actually is and how this can help you, potentially help you in, with a supplement feel better results are different from for everybody we can't make any type of medical claims with this but you know i've had incredible results with this this um this supplement i know you guys are mentioning you're seeing it in my hair growth and my skin all that kind of stuff and so that's that's why they've done it this way that's why they decided to do word of mouth marketing versus just marketing it to health food stores because seriously this guy you know he walked away from generational wealth to um to trying to just get this product out to the general public. So I think I can safely say for this family, it was never about the money, um, the millions and millions of dollars they could have walked away with if they had sold it originally to the potential buyers. Instead, they, they took the hard road to try to get this product out by word of mouth to really help humanity and do something good for humanity so anyway um again ask me if you have any questions down in the comment section below you can always ask them as well and i can try to answer them for you in the comment section if again if you're not interested in a quick purchase with the with the links just text j 321-216-8047 and he will get back to you and talk to you one-on-one -on -one about the product what would work best for you with your lifestyle pricing points all that kind of stuff how to get it at a wholesale price all that kind of stuff and now the second of order of business before we get into the video with Catherine, i did once again want to give a very special shout out to all of my patrons and my producers here on esoteric atlanta and the big um hustle and bustle of everything that's going on in our world sometimes I, I i feel bad that your names aren't mentioned as much as they should be and so i did just want to take the time today to say thank you to all of you guys you guys are the original sponsors of this channel you are the people for all these years that have literally kept my channel going and I am so humbled by your kindness and I will forever be so grateful to all you guys. If you would like to become a patron or a producer of Esoteric Atlanta, there is a link down in the description box below. All right, you guys, now on to the show with Katherine Edwards. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, I'm joined with my weekly, my weekly coffee chat, even though I think we're going to start changing the name with my, one of my besties, Catherine Edwards, who's over in the UK. I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia. Today is what's even the date today? I feel like these, it's the, um, uh, it's the 8th. June 8th, 2023, mm -hmm. Thursday, June 8th, 2023. Of course, I'm just starting my day. Catherine is mid midway through her day, and I'm really excited about the topic at hand that we're going to talk about today. But first, we wanted to give a brief announcement about our weekly drawings that we're doing every week. 
two people get a chance to win a prizes and we're 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 working out the bumps and the and the obstacles along the way and um and yeah Catherine we, we want to make the rules very clear with people yeah. so um with that being said when we announce the winner every Thursday which we will announce the winners for this week at the end of this video so make sure you you hold tight for the end of the video but you have a week to contact us to collect your prize. And we will be putting all of our contact information down in the description box below of our videos. Obviously, we need you to contact us because we don't know your address. So we have to have your address to be able to send you your prize. So we're going to be doing it only within the week for each person, just because it creates a lot of back. We, we don't want it, We don't want things to slip through the cracks. And of course, we're going to be doing this every single week. So if you do win, but you miss the chance to contact us, you'll have more opportunities in the future to win again. Um, is there anything you want to add to that, Catherine? Yeah, so to make it streamlined, we will every single week. So this week we're on Bryce's channel. Next week we'll be on my channel. But both of us are doing a giveaway. So you have two chances to win. I won't go like that. <laughs> you have two chances to win every week. So what we will do, as Bryce said, at the end of the videos, we will announce or near the end, we'll announce last week's winners and how they contact us to claim their prizes. And we will also announce what the prizes are for this week and how you enter, what you need to put in the comments box below. So please, 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 I've had so many messages this week with people saying, how do I enter? How do I enter? And it is all in the video. So listen to that. The other thing is, is when you, we will put our email. So whoever wins, the Bryce's email will be in the description box below, my email. So whoever wins my prize will email me, whoever wins Bryce's. You need to put in that email your full address, your full name, and you need a contact number because the prizes often get delivered by couriers and they need a contact number for the person. Um, so that should be really straightforward. And you have you can enter for both of ours as well. Yeah. So if Bryce is giving one code to enter her draw and I'm giving another for mine, each of you can enter for both of the prize draws. So you've got double the chance each time to win. But we are being really strict with the week deadline. We have said that every week. And someone didn't claim my prize last week. But we can't roll them over because it gets unmanageable. So you have a week to claim. It's also really helpful. Um, yeah, that, that I think that's it. Is there anything we want to say about countries we can and can't win? Because I had someone from Australia asking me if they can enter and i said they can for mine because it's cs ships to australia yeah um but i wasn't sure about yours whether you can ship yeah yours. so i think it depends on the product that is offered and i think you'll just have to check on the website now if someone from a country like like i know for example in america we have the redox mask and i've i've, I've considered offering that as a prize but i've been kind of holding back because i know they are planning on um, rolling it out in other countries as well. But you have to remember, because we're in this matrix system, they have to, like in the United States, we have the FDA. So products have to go through the FDA before they're allowed to go on shelves. Every country has their own version of the FDA. And so ASEA has to work with the matrix basically in order to make these products available to everybody and so i'm trying to be careful about what products i pick at the moment but there yeah. there is a chance that i accidentally pick a product that's not available in your country and i draw your name just let me know if it's not available in your country i'll find something to replace it with like a gel or something to replace it with for you uh, because unfortunately that's something that Catherine and i can't control it's not even something asia can control it's literally just the country's regulations and the bureaucracy of red we, we know we know how this works so um and so yeah and so thank you guys for allowing us the time to to figure out how we're going to work this and this is something that Catherine and i really enjoy doing i mean i think we kind of spontaneously kind of thought of this separately together inside it was, so, it was amazing we both thought of it at the same time and then it made perfect sense we were both going to do it on our sort of weekly channel updates we thought makes perfect sense to use these and this is what it's all about it's an energy exchange you're exchanging energy by us by listening and supporting our channels um if you can press the like and share it really helps all the subscribe but you know you're you're giving energy to us we want to give something back and this is what we're all about you know that fair exchange of energy so we love giving away prizes it's my favorite thing
I love it. it. And I love getting the emails. And I know last week, um, Cheryl Forsyth, who was the person that I that drew for me last week, Cheryl, I know you're in the UK. So it's been a little challenging, but we've just worked it out. So Cheryl, don't panic. If you see this video, it's in the process, your product is coming to you. So we're all working, learning this together. So you know, that's that's one thing I actually, there's something very human about ASEA. You know, that they're growing as we're growing. And so we're all learning how to figure this out together because, um, you know, that's one thing I, that's what kind of sold me on this company is that they were not willing to to take the knee, so to speak, um, to other, we'll say other businesses that could have offered them generational wealth. Instead, they wanted to do this um, to help humanity. And again, there are de definitely, we're, we're not out of the matrix. So there are definitely things they have to do to make sure they can continue putting the product out on shelves in other countries. And so just being patient with them and patient with us as we get you guys. I thank you, Cheryl Forsyth, for being super patient. But you're yeah, don't worry. Right. We've got you sorted, Cheryl. So yeah. yeah. Just off camera, we figured it out before before going on. So, so and then we will next, the, we will announce the names of the people we drew Um for this week at the end of the episode, because I think Catherine and I, instead of doing it on camera, we're doing it off camera because we have to make sure we don't pull the same name, right? We want to make sure it's fair. So she checks with me who I pull, I check with her. So we will announce those names at the end of the episode and we will announce the new prices at the end of the uh, this episode for next week as well. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any other questions about that, just ask in the comment section and I'll try to make it more clear. So um, so we're, we're all figuring this out together, guys, but it's it's quite a joy to be able to send you guys this stuff. So let's get in. This is such an important topic, Catherine. And I don't know, we might go over a little bit over 30 minutes today. And if you only have 30 minutes, I will suggest speeding up the, um, you can go to your, your, your YouTube and speed up like at 1.5 to 2.0. We'll just talk a little faster um, because this is such an important, we are going to be really off and on on my channel here with Catherine talking about different tactics that fall in the category of narcissism narcissistic abuse and I got such a po positive feedback from my video I did with a our friend Angie and the video that I've done with Catherine just talking about these things because narcissism there is such thing as a narcissistic system as well and mm -hmm. narcissistic playbooks and maybe when we talk to Mr. Fox tomorrow we can even bring this up about the organic portal side of things with the spiritual side of narcissism um, as well but there we see these narcissistic systems and if you if you're familiar with this disorder this personality disorder you can see the playbook of a narcissist in your personal life as well as in the macro in the world they use the same playbook of abuse and a lot of this abuse is mental abuse and so it leaves the victim very confused and feeling like they are the one that's the problem mm -hmm. and so today we're going to focus on a phenomenon and in, in, in the narcissistic abuse category called future faking which we see a lot in our community there's a lot of future faking in our community now I want to be very clear that future faking is different then if let's say you're starting a relationship with somebody or you've been in a relationship for a while and you're planning on getting married like Catherine's married I'm sure Catherine you and your husband before you got married sat down and talked about potentials of the future um, what you wanted out of the future that's very different than future faking and I don't know if you want to say anything about that Catherine before we look at the definition and stuff yeah I think this is this is something I think is going to resonate with so many different people because the thing is the problem is with these sort of things you only realize after the event that this has happened to you and you've been subjected to this so what we want to do is make it easier for people to spot the signs but also if it's a recurring pattern with you to actually how do you notice it and get out of it so what future faking is not as Bryce said is is dreaming about the future about creating your own future about manifesting your own future about having dreams either individually or with friends or family or your or your partner that is not future faking because we don't know you're going, when we come on to the discussion you see part of the thing is we don't know exactly what's going to happen but what you'll see as we go through the conversation is future faking is very different it's when some when there's a deliberate manipulation to get something from someone by making promises that they really haven't got any intention of fulfilling um, so bear that in mind as you're listening and we'll try and bring in some examples as we go through so that hopefully by the end of it, it'll be really clear about what is and what isn't. We want everyone's dream. We want everyone to create their futures. We want everyone to manifest their futures. 
but that's a big difference to stop living your life to its fullest on the promise that something's just around the corner. Yeah. And I like that. That's the big key difference is manipulation. You Mm. know, like my my boyfriend and I will sit and talk about the future all the time, like things we want to do. Like I know his dream is to buy a big RV and just travel around the United States with our, with our dog and, you know, do different spiritual uh, workshops around the world and like not really have be more nomadic. That's something. And we've talked about that and you know, what, what that would look like. And you know, that's, that's not future faking because there's no, there's no promise that this is just something, you know, you might sit down with your, your spouse or your friends and be like, you know, it'd be really fun if we could plan a trip to Hawaii together. That's not a form of future faking because you're saying this is an abstract, vague thing that I kind of want to do in the future. How how does that sound to you? Yes. Future faking is a form of manipulation and it's very different. I'm just going to kind of, now, a lot of times when we talk about narcissistic abuse, they are going to use the the experts are going to use uh romantic relationships because typically that's where we notice it the most but like i said when you start to learn the playbook of a narcissist you start to see it in the greater whole as well so what is future faking future faking is when someone use uh, uses a detailed vision of the future to facilitate the bonding and connection in a romantic relationship or to get you to trust that person to relax in your laurels as Catherine said to stop doing your own work because you're aware that are your you believe that your own work isn't necessary because something is coming in the future i ask a simple question is 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 future faking abuse recognizing recognize that future faking is a form of abuse recognize your partner is controlling and manipulating you so if you were you can see that if in this conversation if that resonates with your partner or with an organization it is a form of abuse that is trying to control you and manipulate you. Mm-hmm. And for me, I kind of want to, you know, I know that a lot of people, again, as we've seen in the comment section, are seeing this within their own private lives. And that's fantastic. But I also want to talk about our own community where we're seeing a ton of future faking within our own community. You see future faking in cults a lot. Um, and I came to the realization a couple of days ago, and I think Catherine, you and I both, I, I don't want to speak for you, but we both kind of pulled back a little bit from the quote unquote truth or community because we've noticed that there's a lot of stuff happening that we're not really happy with and don't sit well with our integrity. And I, I realized, I was like, I, in my heart of hearts, believe that there's more manipulation and more delusional thinking and more brainwashing in the truth or community than there is with the normies at this point. And the one thing I wanted to, and and it takes a big, strong person to be able, somebody left a brilliant comment on one of my videos where they said they, they agreed with that. I'm paraphrasing because they believed a lot of people in the truth or community were so egotistical that they knew things that others didn't, that it put them in a place where they couldn't, they couldn't self reflect. And I agree with that. Like, we know things you don't know. Look how stupid you are. You don't even see that you're being brainwashed with this. Whereas we're also being in that we're in the same boat. And the one thing I wanted to talk about specifically is this idea of the med bed. Um, And I know I've spoken about, I've been personally for me in my own personal thoughts about the med bed has always kind of weirded me out a little bit and I'll tell you guys why and you know yeah maybe one day there will be a bed that helps with healing stuff but um it goes against the principles of spirituality 100% goes against uh and I I, Catherine uh, uh, before we started shooting today my boyfriend came home and said he was just listening to a cliff high recording where he was calling out the med bed saying it doesn't exist and um can we start with that Catherine what are your thoughts on the med bed I think, I mean, we've had a few um, talks about this, and I've also done a show with Shanti on solutions with Aquarius Rising about this, and it's a very controversial subject. Um, so there's a couple of things. I just want to, before we get on to the megabeds, I want to go back to on the truth of community. With some of the examples we're going to be talking about today, I'm really asking people, just like we've had to, to sit there with a new perspective and a new pair of um, eyes and just ask yourself, what if, what if some of this is true? What if I have been manipulated? 
because one of the things is you know the standard saying that it's much easier to fool someone than convince someone that them for for them to admit they've been fooled and the trouble is is you know all of us you go humans we do have an ego and we don't want to step back and sort of admit some of the things are wrong but all of us are always wrong about certain yeah. things just because you were wrong it doesn't mean you have to bleat yourself up about it life is about learning and we learn in lots of different ways so if you allow yourself to you know the good old thing about um be open to everything and attached to nothing then you're not going to take it personally you think yeah i did this you know every single person there won't be one person watching this that hasn't been fooled by someone hasn't been manipulated by someone this is why narcissism is such an important topic for us to um talk about because it affects everyone at some stage in their voice, in their lives, I don't believe a single person won't have been affected by this. Or, you know, I don't think many narcissists will be watching this. But going on to the med beds, this is something I'm so, so passionate about because I think it's a really dangerous thing. There's a big difference between giving people hope and empowerment and completely misleading them and taking that empowerment away from that. So there are already loads and loads and loads of healing modalities out there that people can use everything from supplements from frequency healing from light for exactly from light for light healing from music healing to for, um you know de, um, scalar technology there's so many different amazing healing technologies that have been out there for ages but the reason why they're not more widely used and accepted. It's one, they've been clamped down on completely by the dark forces, as we know. So because the main agenda is if you keep people sick and vulnerable and poor, and if you control their food sources, which we'll come on to as well, and their wealth, then you take away choices for them and they feel empowered and they want to go to the controllers for help. Yeah. But the other thing is, is none of these things, none of these um, miraculous cures that you hear about every single day, you know, whether you're following Joe Dispenser, Wim Hof, um, Greg Braden, Bruce Lipton, there's so many brilliant people out there that are sharing for free so many techniques where you can heal yourself tomorrow. But the reason why they don't work for everyone is because we have free will. Yeah. We also have our own karma and dharma to deal with. And we also, it's very dependent on our belief systems. So we all know that one person can go into, I, as a holistic therapist, I see it the whole time. You know, one person can react absolutely amazingly to a certain type of frequency healing or Reiki healing or any sort of energy healing, regardless of what energy input you're using. And another person won't respond at all because they might have a belief system that's completely blocking that. And that as a therapist, that's not my job to change that because they have free will. And I don't know what lesson they need to learn from that experience. Only they need to know. Only they know that. And only they know that probably at a subconscious level, not at a conscious level. And that's where you do your inner work to actually find out what that lesson is. And suddenly once you find out that lesson, so promising people, there's so many people now that need a miraculous healing because there's so many people I don't like by separating physical and mental health. Personally, I think it does a lot of damage because I don't think you can distinguish. There's always exactly, exactly. So let's just talk about health. There's so many people that either for their loved ones, whether that's another human or an animal or for themselves, they need healing because of all the things that have been thrown at us. But to pick, to have those people wait, wait, wait. I know I've lost count of the amount of people I know personally who've been waiting for med beds to heal a loved one and they've died whilst waiting. Now, if they hadn't have been waiting for the med beds, they might have diverted that energy and that power to actually finding out what's available to them right here, right now. And I think that's really cruel to have taken that opportunity away from them. And I know you can say they didn't have to listen to it, but this manipulation that's been happening of paying to people, you know, this is going to happen. The med words are going to be available here is very disempowering the way it's been put across, in my opinion. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. And here's the thing, too, like what, what Catherine is saying is the thing that's bothered me the most about the med bed talk is let's just take a very basic example of being a human. We, we Come here to earth to take a human experience to experience friction so that we can refine our soul 
So that is our work. And so you take, let's take somebody who's like a hundred pounds overweight. Let's take two people who are a hundred pounds overweight. You have one person who's decided that they're going to take this issue that they have and they're going to work on it and they're going to go to therapy. They're going to exercise. They're going to do meditation. They're going to try to figure out what it is. What, what is it about them? Where is that wound within themselves that is making them overeat to the point of being unhealthy Right. And that person, let's say that person who's 100 pounds overweight, does all the work, goes through the roller coaster of emotions, of crying, of frustration, of the time it takes, take up to years sometimes to really whittle it back. But they do the work and then all of a sudden they're at their appropriate weight. They figured themselves out. They're happier and better for it. They've done all this work. And then you have this other person who's 100 pounds overweight who's refusing to do any work because they think they can just get in a med bed and bippity boppity boo, their problems are gone. This person is delusional. This mm -hmm. one is not. That's the difference. And that's what pisses me off when people say, oh, the med beds are going to take your problems away. Well, what? that's very disrespectful to all mm -hmm. the people in the world who have actually done the work and actually have put forth, and it's not fair, right? And, and that's not why you came here. You did not come here as a human being to have life just handed to you on a cell. It's very entitled. You know, we get mad at the other side of this, the other side of this war, because we, they act like they're entitled and that their 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 feelings are more important than facts. But we do the exact same thing on this side. And we are right, Catherine, with the med bed, you are the way I see it from a bigger perspective is that you are trying to get people. And Mr. Fox has said this, too. The most important thing you can do right now in this time is work on yourself. That's Absolutely. what's going to push us into fourth density positive sooner is if everybody works on themselves. So what if all these people are coming in saying, hey, relax, don't worry. The med beds are going to fix it. Now you're relaxing into your laurels, not working on yourself because you think there's a magical like tube that you're going to get into to fix your problems. And all of a sudden, next week, thing we know, the new world order walks right through the front door because you didn't work. We didn't. We you bought into the delusion. And so I wanted to bring that perspective. That's not, and so things like ASEA, which we know Jay has called this the med bed in the bottle. The reason why this is different is because this is not doing the work for you. It's a tool to help you do the work, right? You're not going to take a bunch of ASEA and then all of a sudden your problems are solved. You're going to start to feel better so that you can face your world, so that you can face yourself, your inner world. It's going to give you the tools so that you feel more energized to exercise, to recover. It's not solving your problems. It's the tool to help you in your journey. And that's why I support this, if that makes sense. Yeah. I think it's really, really disrespectful to the people that are ill. Now, don't get me wrong. It's, and I personally know a lot of people who are going through some massive things. All of us will do. Um, animals as well. You know, it's heartbreaking. But the point is, if the med beds are coming, and I completely, I mean, I, I've been studying holistic therapies for nearly 30 years. I am that old. Seriously, there's so much out there right here, right now. But every single spiritual teacher, it doesn't matter what approach they take, the message is consistent. First and foremost, there's a reason why we talk about being in the present moment, because the future doesn't exist. There's so many variables and there's so many people that are predicting things and then saying, oh, it's already happened, but the timeline's changed. It's but a the timeline shift. That's absolutely bullshit. I just want to get a T-shirt saying the timeline shifted. It's like you can make as many excuses as you like, but if you're constantly living in a world of when this happens then, there's not a single spiritual teacher of whatever de denomination that is going to tell you that will work because it won't. You have to shift the energy and then it happens. So if these are coming, if the med beds are coming, if the revaluation is coming, fantastic. But it's like someone winning the lottery. There's so many studies that show if you win the lottery and you don't do the work, most of the time it makes people's lives wor worse. Why? Yeah. Because they've suddenly been handed something on a phone. They're not evolved enough. And that's not a, a better or worse thing. It's a, a, it's a fact. Is that That's why reason why we do silly things when we're teenagers in our 20s and we do less silly things normally when we get older, although we are allowed a few midlife crisis. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy mine. But there's a reason for this. And the thing is, you can't short circuit spiritual evolvement. And if these are coming, it's absolutely fantastic. But what benefit, please, anyone tell me any benefit that it takes by someone telling you, oh, they're coming next week, oh, they're coming, oh, they're already treating the children, oh, they're already doing this. 
it's all just completely not backed up on anything and it's not helping you as an individual because if you're doing something now then if these come next week you're going to be in the perfect yeah. way because you'll have done that in a work to take maximum advantage of it because all these people promising things they say they're quantum most people have no idea what quantum is i couldn't define it i'm not going to pretend that i could give you a good definition of what quantum is but the whole point is they're saying all these people that are trying to say sell this to you uh, they're they're saying that it's all com all related to the energy of the person that it's going to be realizing your heart is it good or is it bad in itself that's telling you it's not going to work on someone that hasn't done the work and why are they selling you this story because it keeps you listening to them because human nature we like to have our beliefs reinforced to us and if you've got someone that's constantly feeding you what you want to hear you're much more likely to stay listening but that doesn't yeah. necessarily mean it's in your best interest absolutely it's so funny to see the quantum because i know mr fox wants to maybe touch on that tomorrow in our show because the law of one has something to say about this whole quantum uh astral nonsense like there it's literally just something we talk about third density it doesn't it does not exist the way people think it exists and so mr fox will will hit on that tomorrow exactly you're it's it's taking it's it's enabling you to not progress yeah i've, I've said that before i said if med beds are real if they're a real thing the med bed is only going to meet you where you are it's exactly. only going to meet you where you are it's not going to take away your problems you know it's not gonna it's not gonna take away you have to be the one and i actually put a video up on my instagram yesterday um basically kind of saying this it's it's up on my instagram and i basically said you know did you know that your body can heal itself surprise your body is the med bed you are the med bed you've been seeking and you have all these tools here that can help you refine this but instead people are sitting around eating junk food just waiting because the med beds it's the same thing again i'm glad you brought up the rv we know we do know that at some I point the federal reserve is going to have to change we do know that at some point but we don't know when that's going to happen and we don't know how that's going to happen part of me thinks that that's only going to happen when um when we flip into fourth density positive i don't know though but I've seen so many people go broke waiting for a million dollars just to show up in their checking accounts. And it's so sad. It's really, really sad. I, mean, I hope people realize, guys, that we're saying this because we get how frustrating we get the temptation of why we want to all believe this. And I'm personally not saying that something that might be in your mind or vision as a med bed doesn't exist. I'm not saying that because I know. Of, I could reel off hundreds of things, most of which have got my website taken down lost, <laughs> um, which is another issue because the censorship really is real. But there's so much out there that will work now. But it's not, we've all got our own different belief systems. We've all got our different lessons. The reason I just jumped off my thing, because I know this is something we're both fish, um, we're both passionate about, metaphysical anatomy, the emotional links to disease. I'm interviewing Yvette Rose next week because all of these bits are different bits of the jigsaw puzzle and they're all we've all got to put those bits of the jigsaw puzzle in the order that's right for us and when people I'd, I'd like your opinion um Bryce because I think it's really important for people to understand we're not saying that it's not good to have dreams aspirations hopes for a better future I think there's amazing technology one available now two that was available a long while ago that has been suppressed and buried we're all finding out about all those particularly people that follow these sort of channels and three there will be new inventions that we haven't even conceived yet i mean just look how quickly the ai is moving ahead but none of them unless you want to go down the ai robotic route and you want to get rid of the human soul then none of them are a substitute for doing the inner work they all work with the inner work exactly exactly that's the same thing with yoga i mean yoga the practice of yoga it's just a tool you have to be the one responsible for really facing yourself and i think what makes me the most frustrated catherine i think the reason why we say things like this is because we actually do i do give a shit about the people yes. that watch our, our and it makes me mad when i can see when people are being duped and gaslit i just looked it up uh, future faking is a form of gaslighting you know, mm -hmm. it's a form of it's 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 you handing your power over. 
right? It's you take your pet. And that's what that was part of my video yesterday on my Instagram, my little one minute video, like take your power back. Yeah. You're handing your power over. You know, we see it like my boyfriend and I were talking about this yesterday. Um, everyone, oh, it's a white hat military operation. It's a white hat. First of all, how do you know that? Where's your yeah. proof? Where's your hardcore evidence and proof? And second of all, if there's a military operation going on right now behind the scenes, why do they have to have people on the internet trying to convince us to believe that it's happening? It's going to happen regardless. Something's, my, my uh, boyfriend was saying something's not adding up. They're telling you if you look at cult programming and cult programming, there's always catchphrases. One of the biggest yeah. cult, cult catchphrases for the truth or community to keep you in submission, to keep you handing over your power is trust the plan. How many times have people said to you when you've had a question about something, they said, oh, just trust the plan. Well, as our friend Jason. You're a plastic patriot. That's another one that's used a lot. You're not a real patriot if you, do, if you dare to disagree. Sorry to interrupt, but I think building on what you said, the one of the ways. So how can you know whether that you're being um, future faked and things like that is when people try and shame you or blame you for wanting to question what they're saying. So, you know, if someone's sort of saying, well, you're a plastic patriot if you don't agree with this, if they're trying to stop you from any sort of form of critical thinking, because whether you've got real proof or whether your intuition is telling you it's really right, if someone's trying to really push one narrative on you, that is a massive red flag, particularly if they're trying to get some reward for it. And the type of rewards can be anything. If you're in a, a relationship, it might be, well, I'll marry you when, or yeah. we'll, we'll have kids in three years' time, or I'll take you out next week, but in the meantime, let's go up to bed sort of thing. And there's so many different examples when they've got no intention of doing it. But putting it into some examples that we might see in the truth of community will be constantly reaffirming what people want to hear so that you keep listening to them and you keep hooked because they're giving you that endorphin rush because they're re referring things without actually having anything to back it up and most of the time nothing's happened no. i mean look at the conversations we're having now you know what has actually happened that anyone said was happening so how much energy have we all and i would put my hand up I, that first year i wasted a lot yeah. of energy into all this because when you're doing research part of the things about research is working out what's real and what's not and that doesn't come overnight you know sometimes you've got to wait and see for the results or the things to to, to really come out of the dark and tr show their true colors yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's three years now and nothing's happened. And it's so interesting when you study cults, like I, I was listening to a podcast about why cults stay. I yeah. look at like all these like death cults, like where are into the world cults where, you know, the FLDS, for example, the fundamentalist Mormons, Warren Jeff's group, um, they talked about, I think it was the uh, Winter Olympics that our friend Jamie was in, like that was going to be like the end date of the world ending. And when it didn't happen, a lot of times, you know, in, when you're in your logical mind, you think, oh, people would have just walked away at that point, been like, this is bullshit. But most time people double down. So that's what we're seeing in the truther community is very, very, I mean, we are looking at the truther community and the normies both. And I think the truther community at this point is way more delirious and way more culty than the normies at this point to be honest with you guys yeah. like but it's high control you are just as much in a high controlled organization as the normies are you know and then you're right catherine how dare we question the plan how dare we question that is a cult tactic if you say oh, hey, yeah. something doesn't seem right or if you say no i don't consent to this you get labeled the bad guy because you dare to question and I just would ask, you know, if, if you believe that these med beds are really coming, where's the proof? Where is it? Where's the proof? You know, again, Catherine and I aren't saying that there's not something coming in the future that will help us in our in our road to recovery. But right now, it's been three years. Where is it? Three years with it being saying next weekend, next weekend, next weekend. And for someone who's got cancer, for someone who's got a child or a relative or an animal with a terminal disease 
that's like torture. It's like the carrot being dangled in front of you, but you're never able to reach it. And meanwhile, um, you're putting all your hope in one basket. I really hope that they do come tomorrow, but that doesn't mean... The thing is, there's no... If you're not putting all your eggs in one basket, there's no downside to doing yeah. the work now. Because if you're if you're not doing the work now and you're waiting for the med beds or the revaluation or whatever else it might be for Trump to come back in, whatever else it might be, then you are literally putting all your eggs in one basket. If you're exploring other options available to you, whether it's financial, whether it's health-wise, whatever aspect of your life you need to, there's no downside to that. There's no downside because you're just putting yourself in a better and better and better position to take advantage of wonderful things that are coming. And I think both of us are very optimistic, Bryce. I think we're we're really hopeful for the future. I'm not sitting there sort of worrying about it, but I'm certainly not about to after all the awful lessons i've learned over the last 20 years i'm not about to hand my power over to anyone um because that's not their job that's not their job my job is to look after me if i'm a parent and i've got young children or i've got animals in my care then my job is also to make the best decisions possible for the ones in my care and sometimes they'll be right sometimes they'll be wrong but i'll learn for them so with with it's whether it's your relationship whether it's friends whether it's what you're listening to whatever what would you say bryce are some of the key things that people can really feel about whether it's serving them or whether they're being a victim of fruit future faking well if something's too good to be true it probably is we hear that quote a lot and that is correct if something is too good to be true it probably is Second of all, and I've said this so many times, Catherine, no one's coming to save us. General Flynn has been telling that to people. And for some reason, people think he's just joking. He's been telling you that no one's coming to save you. There's no yeah. one coming to save you. And that's not bad news. That's mm. actually the best news you could ever receive. Because if you allow somebody to save you, then you're giving your, you're allowing them to control you right that's that's you that is your privilege you are strong enough to do this yourself you know how to support yourself you you can i mean I, i've created at this point two free shadow work challenges 30 day and 60 day challenges and we've had over 600 people participate in those so it's 600 people in the world watching probably watching right now who totally understand what we're saying mm. this, this is a journey for you to experience and with the future faking too i would ask the person who's making these promises to you do you feel comfortable questioning them yeah if you don't feel comfortable questioning them if you feel like you have to walk on eggshells there's your problem second of all um have they doubled down and keep as, as catherine said that's another example of a narcissist is they keep moving the goalpost they mm. keep moving it right they keep oh you know it's it's um ask yourself logical questions too right we think they, they've been telling us the white hats are in control i'm going to tell you right now i don't believe they are mm. i think that's a bunch of bullshit. And I think it's a bunch of bullshit put out there intentionally to get you to relax, to get you to sit and and kick your feet up and let somebody else take care of it. So the white, so the new world order walks right in through the front door. So where do we see proof of this? Well, they say, for example, I have to be careful how I say this. The um, we'll say the head of the CEO, the CEO of the company I live in. If you guys know what I'm talking about, the United States, the head of that CEO of that company. We know that he got there by um, corrupt means, right? And everybody's telling you, oh, it's just part of the movie. That's another catchphrase, cult catchphrase, oh, right? It's the movie. Oh. But let me ask you, the why, if it's part of the movie and it's not real, why, are, why is unemployment rate skyrocketing? Why are groceries becoming almost unaffordable? Why, you guys, you have to understand, this is very real. If this is not a movie, okay? Your life oh. is not a movie. Well, it's your movie that you're creating. Yeah. They're not creating it for you. And movie's probably the wrong way, but we're all viewing it through our lens. But this is where I think it's really hard, Bryce, for people because any manipulation, there's always a little bit of truth in there to get you hooked. We've yeah. talked about this in our programs about the cult, and I think we should talk about it more. In fact, I'd love us to get um, Kelly Thiel back on again um, because she's an expert at this. But... Um, you know, I think this is the thing is I really implore everyone, if there's something in there that you're just thinking, oh, 
please don't beat yourself up about it. Yeah, the we've whole all been point about this is because it's so deep seated and it's so clever. And people that are narcissists, they, you know, most of I can't mention the names on here, but you all know the people who are part of the WHO and all the Davos crowd and everything. They don't sit there saying, oh, we're the best bunch of narcissists out. They think they're right. And the people that you're watching on YouTube who are hitting out, they don't sit there thinking. Now, because it's a behavior pattern that's so ingrained in them that they'll do anything to get their own way and use this manipulation and becomes even more and more and more because it starts feeding the ego more and more and more. So it becomes more of a problem the longer it goes on. And then else you'll see different tactics being employed. But don't beat yourself up about it. But the time when you do need to get cross with yourself is if your liter your intuition is telling you something and you're ignoring it. Yeah. And listen to your gut. Then, you know, you the falls harder, the further up the journey, the mountain you get. And, and you know, the reason why I think Catherine and I are so annoyed at this stuff is because we have fallen victim to it. Oh, yeah. And so so take that as, okay, if you're going, if you're having a moment, like a realization right now, awesome. Now you can take that experience and you can help other people. And because you, now you understand what we're saying. And you're right, Catherine, it is. And we can talk even with Mr. Fox about this, the connection between narcissism and organic portals. Yes. And so a lot of times in 50% of the world population is an organic portal. And so a lot of times these, these raging narcissists that are on YouTube that claim to be truthers are nothing but organic portals. And what that, in very quick terminology, what that means is that they're able to be organically used by fourth density negative beings, like many possessions. So sometimes they don't even realize that they're being used for destruction and chaos. And anytime somebody does anything that pulls the power away from you or makes you feel like you have to submit to them, that is pulling you into destruction and chaos because you are a sovereign person. And I would say too, Catherine, we have a lot of people out there in the truth or world that claim to be people that are of importance. Where's the proof? And that's right. what they use to try to trick you and manipulate you. Well, let them show you proof. Catherine and I use our real names. Like these are, I was saying this one day, I was like, if I could go back and do this all over again, I think I would have used a fake name and probably yes. put a guitar up. Um, but you know, you live and learn. But Catherine and I have used our real names and we, we film out of our homes and you can, I did a, I, you know, if you're in the United States, you can pay like $25 and do background check. I just for shits and giggles the other night did a background check on myself. It was the most boring piece of paper you've ever read, guys. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like this is so boring. Um, but you know, it's, uh, but you know, we, you, you need people who say they are a certain person need to be able to pr show you the proof. Because if they are that person, they would have no problem showing you that proof. So that's another manipulation tactic. So if they try to manipulate you into believing there's something they're not, then you're going to believe even more of the lies, even more of the future faking that's coming. You know, people say, you know, the white hats are in charge. The bad guys are gone. Well, that's not true because we're on a third density planet. So it's polarity. So right there, you already know that's a lie. Because there has to be a dark and a light at their itself as well. You know, there comes a time. Okay, we're not saying that you need ac academic proof. I'm sorry about clothing my hair all the time, but I've just got back from a dog walk and it's all over the place. <laughs> it's driving me mad. Um, but, you know, you've also, this is where good old-fashioned common sense comes in. So what am I seeing in practice? So take the UK. Okay, I can talk about what, I'm, what we're seeing here. We are seeing more and more stringent, rules being put in place we're looking at signing up to the european pandemic treaty which is going to mean that the who can put any restriction on anything they want they can restrict your movement they can enforce medication on you and our country and most of the rest of the people's countries look at this are signing up to that how many people sort of realize that if the white hats were in control we would not be doing this planning for the next one We've got the 15 minute cities coming in. We've absolutely got the digital banking coming in. It's happening more and more and more now. It's really difficult to find somewhere where you can go now where you're not expected to use a QR code or something to get the menu or pay for the bills. Um, this is where getting older helps because I just say, I well, don't know how to do that, <laughs> which you can't get away for when you're young because they know you do. But so you've also got to employ because one of the biggest tactics, manipulation tactics, is is like you've talked about a lot, guys, before, is they try and think you're mad. It's really great to have a positive outlook on life. Mm -hmm. 
But there's no point having a positive outlook as you're just going into the slaughterhouse. There's a right. difference between being delusional and having a positive outlook. And this is where we have to pull all our senses together. And when you're looking at someone on a personal level who's future fate, you know, most people have been in some situation where there have been empty promises, promises where actually in hindsight you look back and you know that they never intended to do that. Yeah. It was manipulation. This is exactly the same of what we're seeing now on a big scale. And actually, the fit that, you know, the phrase to me, evil genius, springs to mind because I think they've been very clever. I think they've been very clever the way they've done it. And we've spoken, everyone who's watching this has spoken about waking up and the great awakening, but that's an ongoing process. It's not an endpoint. So every oh. single one of us will find out new things each day or each week or whatever, where we then that changes our perceptive our perception again and again and again. And that will go on throughout our lives. You know, we're never done learning. Yeah, that's why I hate I hate the word truther, because that means that we definitely know we don't know. We're seeking. Right. And if we change that vocabulary word and say, I'm a seeker, that means you're constantly seeking the truth and taking the opportunities to learn and to grow. And so, yes, and I like that, that we, Catherine, we did a show a while ago about toxic positivity, which I'll put in the description box as well, if you want to rewatch that, because being delusionally positive when the world around you is falling apart is, is a toxic trait. It's not good. So you, you can be hopeful for the future. I do believe fourth density yeah. positive is coming, but I'm also, also realistic about the moment. And I understand that this is a war for your mind. This is a war for your soul. And so it's over. So you have that power to pull your mind back, pull your soul back and start doing your own, your own inner. I mean, I don't watch, I mean, I don't even watch. I mean, when this all started, I would, before I was on YouTube myself, I would spend all day watching people's videos. Mm. I think Catherine and Shanti are the only two people I watch now because I just don't, I don't want to hear any more empty promises. And it's just, to me, it's just another future fake. It's another manipulation. I'm like, what's more deceptive mainstream media, media or YouTube at this point? Yeah, completely. And just to put it into perspective. So some of the things I'm doing and some things I know you're doing, you know, Bryce works out massively and has done for sort of 17 years. I've just got back into working out properly. And now I've always done a lot of exercise, been on my feet a lot, but I've got back in. For me, what have I done? I've started going to the gym again, which I haven't done for years. And then once I've got myself up to a certain level of confidence, I won't have to do that because I can do it at home and everything. But everything's changed since I left work. We're taking whatever supplements or tools are available to us now because I know that when I keep my physical body in for shape, then I make better decisions. For the yesterday, I did a 24 hour water fast. 24 hour water fast cost me absolutely nothing. It saved me money because trust me, I consume a lot of food in a day. So I did a 24 hour water fast. Absolutely anyone can do that unless you've got a serious medical condition, which means it might not be the right time for you to do it. But any reasonably healthy person can do that completely safely. 24 hours is absolutely nothing. So all I did is I did drink like here, I've got my lemongrass from the garden and my mint in there. So I drank herbs from the garden and water. And that's all I have for 24 hours. I can't tell you how different I felt after doing that. Cost me absolutely nothing. I had a lovely client I was working with last night. So we were doing going through some breathing exercises. So after I finished that consult, I went through and I redid some of my breathing exercises. And the other thing I'm doing is I'm getting the design done for my permaculture to really get the garden to grow my own food. So I'm keeping aware of what's coming Mm -hmm. But I'm actually putting my energy into the here and now and what I can do that's really going to serve my family and myself right now. Uh, that's just an example of sort of what we mean. Yeah, and exercise is something. And the reason why I promote exercise so much, because nothing's going to humble you more than working out. Nothing oh, yes. is going to bring you into your body more than working out. And so in, in all the ancient cultures of the world, um, they incorporated exercise into their spiritual practices. And we look at the root word of exercise and exorcism. Exorcism is removing demons. Exercise is removing in dark energy and bringing you get to get to know yourself. And also something we call in the Mysore room, we call the Mysore magic. Because the yeah, practice of Ashtanga Yoga is so intense. And when a new student comes into the room, they'll see advanced students, advanced students, I hate even using that word 
or you know standing up with their leg behind their head or doing handstands and they'll think oh god i could never do that but over time they start to go well maybe that is possible and there's this magic that happens where you realize that you've been your own worst critic for such a long time and your body can't and you can't actually do certain things so that's why and you're right Catherine. i you you don't even and, and you know yeah i've been doing this for 17 years i do really hard workouts every day but i've been doing it don't don't compare your chapter one for people watching, don't compare your chapter one to my chapter 10. Okay. I had a video of myself in the gym. You'd have all felt so great watching it. <laughs> it was so hopeless. Well, but I enjoyed it so much and I felt so energized afterwards. But trust me, it doesn't matter where your starting point no, is. It's just, just starting. It doesn't matter. It's, um, I, I always tell my students, and you're, you're, pretty yoga is boring. Mm. The messy yoga, that's what's interesting because that's where there's resistance. That's where there's work to be done. And there's we're in a day and age right now where you can find it. You don't have to. If you can't afford to get gym membership, there are so many YouTubes out there. Pop Sugar is a YouTube yeah. channel with so many different workouts on it. You could even find me Ashtanga practice. You know, I recommend having a teacher to make sure you're doing it right. But but there's there's no excuse at this point. Or even if you're, you know, let's say you're like 50 pounds overweight. Can you just go on a walk for 20 minutes? That's all. Exactly. And I'm not yeah. going to keep going to the gym for ages because I love when my dog walks. I'll pick up branches and do the exercises then. But because I was so out of practice, I just wanted to make sure I was doing it properly. So I knew which bits of my body. That's just me, you know, because other people might have better knowledge and might not know that. But, you know, this is the thing. There's always something you can do. And the, the resources on YouTube are just so fantastic. We might yeah. slag it off for certain other reasons of censorship, but there's also so much good available there. Oh, so yeah. it's where your attention is. And I, I, just, I just love it. So I really hope from today, the main message I want to get out is keep an open mind about these things. And, and is it serving you? Is the information you're hearing actually serving you is right. it inspiring you do you do you listen to it and feel energized to make some sort of change or step forward in your life absolutely and i think that's a great leeway into um one of the prizes the prize that i'm actually going to be giving away next week um and i, I want to say too if if with a lot of yoga shalas before I, I know i've said this before unless you're working with like a corporation yoga studio which i wouldn't even bother with them anyway but usually independent like uh brick and mortar privately owned yoga shalas if you really want to start practicing there if you call and talk to the owner the head teacher who owns the shala nine times out of ten they will work with you we work with people all the time at aya they will work with you financially some some shalas have what they call a karma program where if you cannot afford the classes but you really want to take classes they'll let you come in and like sweep out the studio once a week or something so people are willing to and i'm telling you guys it happens a lot with us at aya or they might say i know at AYA we've had like students they say okay well can you market for us can you use your platform to put out in our go poster up cafes in atlanta for us there are people people want you in there especially as a yoga teacher we don't have a job if we don't have students and so we want people in that classroom and so if that's something you're nervous about don't be nervous because it happens all the time people ask all the time or if you can pay a little bit like half of the price they'll work it out with you most people unless it's a corporation that's different but most brick and mortar shalas will work with you um getting you in so don't don't feel there there's always options but i'll go yeah. ahead before we announce the the winners for this week next week i'm actually going to be giving away another month of marnie alton's in body website this is one of my favorite i am obsessed with this woman i think she is one of the biggest brightest lights out there um she is so kind in her classes and um all of her classes she does them live so if you can take the class they, they, then, they then go into the library so you can take it later if you can't take it live so she sits there and talks to people um she got her her start um as an actress and a dancer and then she was on a big tv show for a while and then there's interviews with her saying she kind of had a come to Jesus moment where she didn't want to do it anymore. And so she loved teaching this. And now she's built this huge platform. She's Drew Barrymore's personal uh, instructor, um, all sorts of, that's how she kind of got famous. But I absolutely, you can tell by listening to at the end of her classes, she does like a meditation and she says things in her classes that are, you can tell she's really studied spirituality and has also used. So like, look, um, on 610, there's a 45 minute. She has 20 minutes. Now, I typically do um, 
the 60 minute classes because that's where my fitness level is. As you can see they're they're blocked out here because I've already I've done a lot of them, but she has um uh 60 minute classes, she has 45 minute classes, 30 minute classes, 20 minute classes. She even has it's loading no equipment workouts. She has focus workouts like meditations, low impact. And she literally uploads two to three classes a week, you guys. Look, she's got one here with a chair. So if you are, you know, so she, you know, so if you're someone like me that's pretty fit, you're going to want to do the 60 minute classes. That's where, that's where I meet my friction is with the 60 minute classes. That's what you can see. I've played a lot of them, but if you're just starting out, she's got these 20 minute, no impact. And even in the 60 minute classes, guys, she tells you um, options to do. So if you're new or if you can't do the high impact, she gives you options. She tells you that I, where we work with like two pound weights, she'll say, you know, you don't need weights if you don't have them, or you can use a wine bottle or a branch like Catherine uses. You can do anything to give you that resistance. And, um, so this is the net prize for next week. It's a one month for you to be a part of her in body. I will put a link to her website in the description box below. Um, one month. And I think her prices are actually really reasonable. It's $40 a month, which I, I pay. I think that's super reasonable. Um, and, and you get so much for it. And she has Facebook support groups. She has all sorts of where you can actually, I've spoken to her a few times just off, you know, she's very approachable when it comes to, uh, she even does Q and A's where people, I've listened to a lot of her Q and A's before just while I'm cleaning the house, just to hear the questions people ask and what she has to say about it. And, um, one thing she says a lot is you didn't come this far to only come this far. That's one of my favorite quotes. And, um, and so, yeah, you can even with her website, if, if you don't win or you want to look at the website, you can even rent a class. I think it's like $20, $25 to rent one class and you get it for 48 hours, which if you rent it at a good time, you can get like three sessions out of a class just to try it to see if it's something you like. So um, I'm going to be giving away one every three or four weeks or so. I'm going to give away uh, a, a subscription to her website um, just because, again, it's it's one of the I think it's one of the best websites out there. It's one of the best platforms out there. And she is so she's such a great teacher. And um, and I've, I've had such a benefit um practicing with her it's really changed my yoga practice and she is so anyway anyway and that's something you can do at home you do this at home so so that's my price for next week. what do people need to put in to win that in the so comments put your name and just put marnie m-a-r-n-i-e marnie that's her name that's her embody so put put your name marnie and i'll put you in for a raffle to um and carolyn carr if you're watching you won it the last time so carolyn if you've been doing marnie's uh website and her practices let people know down in the comment section what you have how, what you've experienced from doing her her platform for the month that you've done it so what are you giving away next week Catherine? i am giving away because i've had so many people contact me saying they want the renew 28 so i'm still sticking to the renew 28 also because i know i can ship this to anywhere in any of the countries where we see a deliver to so for mine you've got to put in your name and then renew 28 and then when we pick the winner next week, which will be on my channel, you'll have a week to do it. So let's get into last week's winner. Do you want to announce yours first? Yes. Yeah, so mine again. So I did two weeks in a row. So this last week's winner, I'm doing the performance variety pack, which was the, this, the packets of energy, mood, mind, um, that, so that my winner is Gail Sota. So Gail Sota email me at esotericatlanta at gmail.com put performance in the subject line so i see it right away i know who you are i will need as Catherine said for you gail i will need your shipping address i will need your phone number and i will need your email address and with your email address guys asia will send you an email the minute they ship out your product so that you can track it you can track your product so gail sota congratulations the performance variety pack is amazing so send me all your information and we will get that to you as soon as we can brilliant and my winner for last week is jennifer brown and then she had in brackets afterwards tx which might be texas mm -hmm. so jennifer brown you have won a tube of the amazing my absolute favorite the renew 28 use this for yourself use it for your animals so you need to email Catherine Edwards Life 17 at gmail.com. Again, the email addresses for both of us will be in the description box below. I need your name, your mailing address, and your contact number for the courier. 
and you will be being shipped out. You must, both winners must claim your prize before next Thursday, by next Thursday. Okay, congratulations. And we love those of you that want, have won prizes. Please do comment below in terms of how you're finding the products. I know my first um, winner, Megan, is absolutely loving the skincare set. So I actually, so yeah, I would love that. Tracy, my winner. Tracy, I hope you've gotten it. I know we just shipped it out last week. Tracy, if you're watching this, let us know in the comment section, girl, how you're liking the skincare too. Because I was actually just thinking about that as you were saying, Catherine, because the skincare is a big one. That's a big one. It's a big one. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking maybe next month, maybe once a month or something, I'll, I'll give away the skincare um because i know that's a uh, there's there's well, nothing we've got some new products there. coming we've got some new products coming which you guys are going to be absolutely amazed by but we won't, can't get that all over the world at the moment but yeah we've got some fun so let us know what you think today um please let us know also what other subjects you'd like us to discuss because these coffee chats we really want to be one things that people are being affected by and then hopefully we can just add some different perspective to and to yeah, if you guys know more about future faking that we didn't cover, please. Um, that's I think that's why we even opened up a YouTube channel to begin with was to have these conversations. So share us your experience. If there's something we didn't men mention about future faking, uh, make sure you you leave that down in the comment section below so other people can read it and and it can impact and help other people too. Uh, narcissistic abuse is no joke. Um, I will also let me leave myself a note. I will also leave some links to other channels like Dr. Um, Romani, some yeah. other really big YouTube channels that have helped me a lot in my journey um, through narcissistic abuse of uh, therapists who um, can talk about ways to spot narcissists, what to do uh, when you're leaving a narcissist. And I will leave those as, as resources as well for you guys to sit and watch their, their conversations because they are therapists. They do work with this professionally. So um, just to help you, any, any tool out there to help you get your power back and understand, again, the only reason why Catherine and I bring these, these subjects up is because for me, it pisses me off to see people manipulated and taken advantage of, of. And I want you to know that you are far more powerful than you think you are. And once you figure that out, your whole world is going to change. Love it. Brilliant. We All right, guys. We're going to be back with Mr. Fox tomorrow. Yeah, on I'm so excited. After that, that's going to be a good one. And then we'll be back on my channel next week. And well done to all the winners. Love you guys. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.